Hey everybody, this is Emily from Aerial Master, and today I'm going to show you how to export high quality 1080p HD videos from Premiere Pro into your Instagram feed. This is awesome, it's really cool, it upgrades your Instagram, and it's good to know. So, we're going to start by opening Premiere Pro. So I use a GoPro um, Hero 3 Plus. It shoots 1080 HD at 30 frames per second. Um, so you want to have an HD camera, first of all. You can't just ex import a random video that doesn't have HD qualities and then export them and expect them to have HD qualities. So we're going to go New Project. Okay, so for the capture form, we want HDV, so that's HD video. That's going to be the best quality. Okay, we're going to title it Instagram. Press OK. Okay, then since I'm shooting with 1080, I do 1080p and then 24. We're going to name the sequence Instagram again. Okay, and then we're going to go to settings. This is really important, is the settings. Okay, so I set mine at 1080p at 60HC DVC Pro HD. That's going to be the highest quality that um, you can have your sequence at. And then the time base, I shoot with 30 frames per second. Some people shoot with 60, some people shoot with 24, I shoot with 30. And again, everyone's going to have a different way um, of doing this. To me, this is the easiest and the best way to understand it, especially if you're a beginner in editing or any of this um, and you don't really understand all the terms. This will give you a really high quality video. Okay, so this is all good. And then we're going to press OK. So just make sure this is it should just automatically be like that, but you can just look at it for a second to compare. Then we're going to press OK, and then it's going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to double click in here to find the video that we want. So I already edited a video, but you guys are more than welcome to edit a video. The video has to be 15 seconds long for Instagram. Um, that's just how it goes, and it can't be more than 15 seconds long, so I, I usually just make a really long video, export it to YouTube, and then clip it to be 15 seconds long. Okay, so here's my video. I'm going to drag this video into the video line, okay? We're going to keep existing settings. This is extremely important. The existing settings that I have put on are 1080 by 30 frames per second. So if you change the sequence setting, it's going to mess it up. I should actually take this off. No, we'll leave it. Okay, keep existing settings. So here's the video. That <laughs> So we really, we, we really like to have our watermark, and you can add a watermark just by going to, um, at the top of Premiere Pro, it says title, it's above this, and um, you click that, and then you just add title, and then you can edit it, and then I just overlay it on top of my video, and it makes a watermark, and it's really cool. So pretty much here's my Instagram edit. Let's see how long it is. It is perfect. 14 seconds. Okay, so we have it done. Now we're going to export it. So we're going to do File, Export, Media. Okay, so this is the most important part, obviously. For the format, we want to do um, H.264. That's just the best, okay? And then for the um, preset, we want to go to HD, obviously, because you want an HD video, right? 
So we're going to do HD 1080 by 30 frames per second. So that's what that means. If you shoot with 24, do HD 1080 24. If you shoot with something else, do that. But this is what I shoot with. It's the best quality to me. Okay, 1080p, 30 frames per second. No comments. If we want to export the audio. We want to export the video, obviously. Okay, then we're going to go down here. This is perfect, the width and the height of the video. The frame rate, we want to make sure that's right, 30 frames per second. Okay, so all this is great. Okay, we want to render at maximum depth. That makes the video quality better. Okay, and then all this is good. And then we're going to use maximum render quality. Okay, we're going to click that. And then we also... Don't, we don't want just the work area, we want the sequence in and out, that's really important. So it goes from 0 to 14, 21 seconds, okay? So we're going to export, it encodes it, okay, so now our video has exported on to my desktop, that's where I decided I wanted to export export it. So we're going to exit out of QuickTime Premiere. If you want to save it, you can save it. I don't need to save it. You probably should save it though. Okay, so no. Okay, now it's this step. How do we get it onto our phones from our computer? That's what everyone gets confused about and it's really easy. Okay, so you can either email the video, which every time I try to email it, it's too big of a file. So I'm going to text myself it. So I go to messages. If you don't have a Mac, you can try to email it. Um, go through a different emailing site. I know Yahoo and Gmail doesn't do more than 15 seconds. It might do this one because it's 14 seconds. But it just depends. So I'm going to go to messages. Um, I just You can send it to yourself if you want. Or, um, I send it to my boyfriend's phone. It's just easier for me. So, I'm going to drag it. See, I have another one right there. Okay, and then I put the caption for the other one. just makes it easier. So, I'm going to drag it and then send it. And actually, it, it comes, like, extremely nice quality in the text message. From there, you're going to grab your phone. You're going to open the text message. Save the video. Um, I use an app and it makes a white border around it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I can let you guys know in the comments what it's called, but um, that app gives me a really good quality video. Like you can see everything. If you just post it onto Instagram like this, it will cut the edges. So you're going to want to, you know, do the white border. So I would download this app and do it. It makes your videos really cool too. Um, so you're going to put it in the, through that app, edit it with the white border, and then you can just upload it right to Instagram. It's super easy and it's really fun. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram or see any of our videos that I've posted, this is our Instagram. There you go. All right. Thanks, guys.